wait. The phlogist in here is a bit odd. Let me see. <sighs> Iman sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him. Fast. Oh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But... Uh, but... What if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Uh, no, I've got to be careful. Otherwise, he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. Uh, no. No, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Traces of people staying here, too! Oh, uh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, Electro, and some other elements as well. Kanich told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Huh. Huh. It's about time that little brat said something nice about me. There are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking... What if Auroron wanted to leave another distress signal, but was caught by the Fatui? Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. I'll take this direction, and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. <sighs> Roron! What the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. Ah, <sighs> you little brat. And off she goes! Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? Once Seat Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So you were thinking the same thing! Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell, and it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, how many forging commissions do I still have to finish? Let's see. One, two... Hmm, not so many as I thought. I'll get to them tomorrow.